Hello everyone and welcome back to Chemical React. It's a me, Fusion Form, and over there, like always, is my co-host Gorilla Fist. How's it going? Today we have So I'm a Spider, So What, episode 21. 21. Alright, so we left off with I'm assuming the vampire girl at the final final at the end of the episode, right? With her uh. army. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. Ariel will be like, "Yes." Yeah. So I'm and like, there, I don't know what the hell. There's a little <laughs> like Kumiko looking spider on her. It looks like some kind of transmitter. Yeah. So Which is... I don't know. Yeah. Uh, did Ariel win? Is this some elaborate ploy to tease us? Or is, this a, is this war gonna happen now? I'm assuming now, right? The faction I... wars. Some kind. I, well, remember they're in the human. They're hunting the humans. Mm, or hunting ridiculous. them in particular. That's why they were uh, running over to the elf village to get away. But as we know, a lot of them are supposed to die in a, the elf forest, so that's reassuring. <laughs> I don't know. And then looking back and reflecting on the the elf teacher, right? Uh huh. It's gotta suck. <laughs> she literally <laughs> set up, set them all up to die. Like, uh, and she tried her best to save them all. What? Mm -hmm. Was she saving this episode? Well, I don't know. So, <laughs> before we start, if you enjoyed reaction to this episode, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also, come join our Discord, Twitter, and Patreon if you want to support us or stay up to date. And without further ado, Fusion, I got my fingers up. And three, two, one, intro. Oh, who's the traitor? Mm. Who is it? Well, it could be one of those three random elves. Or it could be the half elf girl, heathen girl. So what up with her? What about her? Like she's just around. Wait, which one are we talking about? Uh, the I don't know which episode, but the half, the one right there, the, the elf girl with the green outfit, the half human, half elf. She was, she's taking care of him his like entire life, but she's probably, I assume she's the traitor <laughs> at this point. I'm sure she's still brain controlled or something. Probably, but I, I'm just saying in general, like she's been around, but we didn't get much about her. And again, my theory is you don't keep around these people for no reason. Well, the, well she's oh, speak like- Speak of Anna. There you go, Anna. She's like family to him, so. Oh, it could be the teacher. Then again, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't think, no. That would be a, a real surprise. <laughs> well, she's still on that whole, like, I have to protect them. This could be like one of those typical bad guy tropes. Oh, not those bad guy tropes, but, you know, I did it for you, you know, kind of thing. Even if I get my hands soiled. Interesting. So gods are the administrator, right? It still doesn't explain how they were able to reincarnate in this reincarnate in this universe. True. Unless they're actually unless they're like actually are gods and Sophie, that's, that's the whole point. Sophia. I just never can remember it. <laughs> I don't know how you can ask me that kind of question. Sure. I'll survive. <laughs> I will survive. <laughs> oh man. By the way, this is actually a good good episode. So is it? <laughs> well, like I said, like as much as I like to complain about the flashback, they're actually explaining everything. Everything's being set up. You can feel, you, can, you know, you, shit is going down. Yep. What if he's the traitor? Uh, I honestly, at this point in stage, I wouldn't be surprised if any of these guys betray one another, even uh, Faye. But then again, I don't think Faye would do it. Uh, never. How do you even explain that? Elves were brainwashed to do evil things. How do you explain in general that people were brainwashed to do these things? Because they use appraisal. Unless the bad guy... Yeah, but they're the only ones with these kind of abilities. No, very strong beings have it too. Ariel has it. Okay. But not the regular human beings, right? I assume some of them might. I think appraisal also can just be, like, raised up like a, a normal ability. I just talk about how do you even explain that? Unless you just look at some like uh, king ruler that has that power and it's like, they're evil. Okay, king. They no more. <laughs> I 
And then there's Sylvia and Hugo. Can you imagine if everyone was a traitor? Ah, uh, oh, that'd be crazy. The ultimate double cross on everybody, even the administrators, even though the, it looks like the administrators aren't really working together. Right. But if it follows the same typical trope about gods, they all cannot exist together. There's always got to be one. <laughs> you fool! Oh. You think I'm gonna sit here? <laughs> Why don't we just destroy the teleportation circle? Because we need it. We have to but win. We have to use that against to win the title awards. But if we destroy it, they can't get in at all. They can't get out. But they can't get in. <laughs> they can't get out. But they can fix it from the side eventually, but they can't get in right now, which is important. Damn. <laughs> 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 Impressive. <laughs> yeah, Dodge Wind, apparently. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, exploding sword. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. you, don't see, you don't see that too often. I wonder why. Those damn elves are just looking at hey, Look at this sword. Boom. <laughs> That's a big explosion. Holy oh, crap. you destroyed the circle. <laughs> Maybe that's why you don't destroy the circle. <laughs> I do appreciate that uh, after all this been going on up into episode 21, right? Uh-huh. That Shu is actually smart enough to use his appraisal and be like, hmm, it's a shinobi. Suspect, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Called him out on his bluff. Like, I like that. that was, it's a little, little, it's a little tidbit, but I like that. I appreciate it. Did he poison right, the purple. barrier? Oh, no, it's her. Who is her? I don't know, <laughs> that girl with the gray hair. All right, you mean white hair? Oh, I remember you. Oh yeah. She's the, the evil sister, though, the possessed sister, brainwashed. No, that's um the one who said taboo is wrong, remember? Okay. The crazy one. A Sophia Chen. She just okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye, Sophia. See you again. <laughs> it's nice to see you, an adult. Okay. Not the horse fusion. <laughs> it's always, always the horse. Oh, she got somebody. <laughs> yeah, right. But don't close your eyes when you shoot bows. I think she had the other eye open. Okay, from my angle, it looked closed. I mean, I think the left eye was closed. She crazy. Yeah, she is. 
Oh, he died just to show off his power to us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Ryder. I didn't need to see that. I understood it. Well, she needs to focus. She's distraught. I know, that's why I say focus. I'm like, you're the poisoned one. I don't, <laughs> even, think, I don't even think she's brainwashed. Oh. You know, I thought she could make a stab, but she, yeah. I hope that, I hope she killed her. Oh yeah, Hugo's getting under her skin, dude. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Dude, these kills are dangerous, dude. <laughs> right? <laughs> Jesus. Got a floating sword, a barrier that just suffocates you. Oh, he can do that too. Hey, look, it's Faye. <laughs> yeah, how convenient, right? <laughs> Their hero music is playing. <laughs> and so it, the true battle begins. Yep, that looks like a bunch of dead elves. Hey, a lot of arrows, bows. Oh, there's Hugo. I don't think that's Hugo. Look at this. Got horns. Oh. What? Well, I assume that's another one of the students. What do you think? Who knows? There's so I many mean, characters popping up I mean, and just dying. I mean, it's, oh, it's, it's probably is it a student. It's probably a student. Uh, like, most likely a student. Yeah, it's either a student or it could be one of the like like Ariel, like one of those gods. Because they did have the horns. I don't, I'm not sure if that's actually in his head or if it's the helmet. So it uh, might I think, be a demon of some sort. I think it's horns. So well, the uh this episode, right? Mm -hmm. did, you, did you enjoy the episode? I don't know, I think it needed more spider girl. <laughs> Was that? I, said, I don't know, I think it needed more spider girl. <laughs> it's funny because I'm watching this right and then like we uh, like I already like knew some of it, like there was not gonna be a spider girl, right? Uh-huh. And I'm already I'm down for it, but it's like it's interesting watching this show without the spider girl because this show can actually hold up on its own. If it's just focused on them, it feels like another like reincarnated, you know, adventure story, right? Okay, I guess. But then you include the Spider Girl and then her OP abilities, and then that thing. It kind of like it meshes and mashes with, with with the humans, which is why you always get this debate whether people want the humans or or the Spider Girl. I, I don't know. I just want to be entertained by both. <laughs> I hope I hope teacher killed that the the one girl who's brainwashed by the by the church that's the thing is she could well she did shoot one of her students no, in the she, back with it, but, well, but is yeah. she committed to actually offing her students like I, truly or like is she just saying that and then like some other way she's gonna knock him out and... oh no she <laughs> shot her straight in the back with an arrow there was blood so <laughs> yeah i know i also started thinking about like the like the crazy girl like is she crazy because she's brainwashed or do you remember her she made her like this yes or she remember she was a zealot for the church we found that out way back in like episode five yeah but i'm just saying like because in her past life you know like she wasn't like that i'm assuming right she, yeah she got brain she was born and raised in the church and she was brainwashed by the church okay all right that and makes much more sense now, is she currently also being brainwashed by Hugo? Who knows? But she was already brainwashed by the church. Okay, that makes sense. I thought she just went crazy. It's like, well, you seem to go on crazy by your own, so I have no hesitation in murking you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I well, like the episode, though. No, I thought it was a good episode. Yeah, like I said, like, if it's just a human, it's actually a good episode. The pacing was great. They actually mm. built everything up, and you got to the war itself. It's like, this is... It's there was bad. no traitor. There was no traitor. Well, there was just some guy who broke in. <laughs> and literally blew it up. And literally blew it up. Which apparently you don't do. <laughs> and now, 
our human heroes and our elf faction are pretty much getting wiped out, dude. But then Shu came in and saved the day, right? I hope he wins. He has to win. He's the main character. This is no, no, way he no, no, win. no, no. Kumiko is the main character. I mean, she's not here right now, so that you know, you might be I here mean, she somewhere. Kinda, and... She kind of started this all. She started all of this. True. In some, in some fast uh, shape or form, right? Uh, I'm... Anyway, either way, I'm just throwing it out there. A lot of people are getting mad because there's no Spider Girl. I actually enjoy this. I, I actually enjoy this. That's all I gotta say. Good job episode <laughs> but i think that wraps it up and like always guys we will see you in the next episode